everybody, welcome along to our Sunday afternoon live session. Um, I've spent all morning preparing something that I'm actually not going to use. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you how to do a sort of background just using distress inks. And um, it didn't work. I mean, it's pretty poor. Pretty poor. So that was um, how I spent my morning. I just thought I'd leave it so you could see it. Um, it kind of is possible, but you don't get a really good background. So I'm going to put whoop, plan B into operation and ditch that. That can now become fire lighting stuff. So goodbye. Right, let's get rid of this glass mat then. I don't need it. Nothing wet going on today. Right, let's get back to uh, our kit, our nature kit. And, oh, it's gone really thundery here. Do you feel it, Mr. F? Yeah. It's just all of a shot gone really thundery. It's going to rain. It's going to be a thunderstorm. Right, it's our nature kit. But, you know, can I reiterate that you don't have to have the kit to do this. It's just a collection of ideas, really, that you can use in any journal. Um, I just want to see where the middle is and what's going on at the middle. I still like that, though. That's nice. But you could use that for anything, couldn't you? You, you know, it doesn't have to be Edith Holden stuff. It could be anything. Um, where is the middle? All right, OK. Ah, yeah, I used that, didn't I? <laughs> right, okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna use that again. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna use this paper again, which is the center, it's not quite the center spread because this is our center spread. Um, but it's the page akin to it that we put our floating pocket on yesterday. So I'm just gonna take that floating pocket off, put the pin back on it, and just pop it in the front of there because it's this page that I want today but first before I need that I need to select myself some card um, out, of, out of the um, supplementary paper pack that uh, that I I'm, well actually I think I'm using two I want that one because I want the tags and I want another one that's big enough to cover that piece of paper. That's the one we used in the front and it's really very nice. I like that a lot. And the other contender is this one. Which is also gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Let's get them both out and have a look. these back in my project box. There we go. Right, let's have a look and see. The idea of what I'm doing today is that I'm going to use a piece of this and I'm going to put slip pockets in it into which I'm going to add the tags and then I'm going to back it onto this piece of paper. That's the plan. So now you know what I'm doing. <laughs> Off you go and uh, I'll see you next Saturday. So the question is, do I want to use this for the backing paper or this? I think that one, I love it. Let's put the other piece away safely so it doesn't get crumpled up. And I want this, the paper itself is 12 by 12 and I think we made ours eight by, I don't know what. 8 by 11 and a bit, whatever it is. Let's just cut that at the same measurement as this. So let's see if my paper trimmer wants to work today. I have a new blade for it. That might help its health and temper somewhat. Uh, 
Um, I like using it this way. I know it's upside down. Maybe it's got something to do with the fact that I'm left-handed. I've got no idea, but I just like using the board this way up. I'm going to have to turn it around to take my old blade off. I don't think you need to get it to there when it pops off. I didn't get much service from that one, I must be honest. I think Nancy was saying that she found her blades blunted really quickly as well. So that's a new blade on there, so it should be uh, should be mighty sharp. Right, so let's just cut this off where the lines are. Where my little pencil marks are. I'm still not used to these new cutting implements. Oh, look at that. Magical. It's magical, I tell you. Now then, have I cut my other pencil mark off now? That's like something I would do. Oh no, it's there. So I'll just chop that off there. Lovely. Oh, that's so much nicer with a new blade. I'm, I'm going to keep that. You never know when you might need that. I know it seems a bit silly, but I am. Right, so that's gone up in my estimations. Now it's got a new blade. It's a joy to use. Right, so what we need to do is measure some um, some marks to make our pockets with. And I'm going to make slip pockets, which are not that dissimilar to how I made the waterfall last week. Um, but, well, same idea, just slightly different. So let's fold this over so we can see uh, what we've got on each side to play with. Score that in a little bit. Right, so that's what we've got on each side. So, how big are, are these? So I could get one there, one there and one at the bottom, do you think? Let's cut three out and see, see what we've got. Might as well start at the very beginning. Sounds like a song. Yeah, a very good place to start. If I was feeling slightly more proficient with the trimmer. Oh, let's do it. Should we just do it? Let's just do it. What's the worst thing that can happen? <gasps> yeah, I ruined my... Uh, <laughs> I ruined my stuff. Let's try that there. Oh, I don't know. I think I need it the other way. Get more, more, of, a, more of a bit on here. So if I shut that, does that... Is that line there exactly where it's going to cut or what? Which line? I don't know. Which line? Let's, let's cut a little bit and see. Alright, so I want it a little bit more that way. Okay. Not too bad. I'd say that's not straight. Not exactly straight, but it's not bad. Maybe it takes years and years to get the hang of what this, of how to use this. I, I really don't know. Oh. Seem to have sliced the whole top off that bit. I don't know why. It's it's just not straight. It's not straight, I tell you. Either way, it's, it's less agony than watching me cut round a load of stuff. Quite sure of that. And the more you use it, the more we get used to using it, I suppose. Yeah, it seems to be just to the side of this metal bar. So you see, I've learnt something today. Right, okay, let's get rid of all this debris. Ah, oh, where are we? 
here we are. Right, so I just want to see if I can fit three in one side. It's possible that I can. Let's cut these off. Like a roll call, you do yeah, that? let's have a roll call. Terry. Hiya, Terry. Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Keung. Hi, Keung. Roz. Hi, Roz. Bernice. Hello, Bernice. Kerry. Hi, Kerry. Violet. Hello, Violet. Janya. Hiya, Janya. Jen. Hi, Jen. Shaz. Hi, Shaz. Mike. Hi, Mike. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Lorna. Hiya, Lorna. Linda. Hello, Linda. Jan. Hi, Jan. Gunny. Hi, Gunny. Noella. Hello, Noella. Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Keller. Hello, Keller. I think you must have missed you all out, then scream out. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for joining me. Right, so the question is, can I fit these in here? That's just not straight along the bottom. It's just going to irritate me, so I'm just going to have to trim it off. So I could have one that comes to there, one that comes to there and then back over this side uh, no that's not it's not gonna no that's not gonna work so I'm gonna have two I'm gonna have two on each side I think that'll look nice anyway actually um, that one I've sort of I don't know what's happened to it it kind of didn't have a top um, but I'm all right with that one but I just need one more so let's use the blue tit. Come on. You know you want to be used in this project. The ducks that live next door continue to amuse both me and Bobby. <laughs> They've uh, worked out a way to get out of their uh, enclosure, back garden, whatever. And... Uh, they now walk on the sort of, I don't know what to call it, common land, I guess, behind the house. Um, sort of field type area. Um, <laughs> they're, just, oh, they're just funny. I think they're called runner ducks. So, um, yeah, they just wander around. Right, so that's kind of what we're going to have. It's going to be like that. That's the plan. So I want my pocket slits to be about here probably. Let's just make a little mark with a pencil. So we've got a bit of an idea. About there and about there. That's my plan, that's the plan. So now let's measure up from the bottom see if we can get that kind of straight. I need a bigger ruler than that. Oh. Right, so this pencil mark is where? Where is it? Let's play that game again. Let's hunt the pencil mark. I thought I made quite a bold pencil mark. How come it's not even there? Can you see a pencil mark on there? Where should it be? Well, sort of, yeah, up there where your thumb is. Not particularly. I know. Used a pencil. <laughs> yeah, I used a pencil. It's madness, isn't it? Bring it back, I'll have to do it again. <laughs> this is bonkers. <laughs> oh dear. So, right, I want the, the squirrel, sort of, or whatever it is I choose to use there. And uh, there's the pencil mark. Located it. It's been located. It's there. Right, so before I lose it again, <coughs> let's square this up on the bottom. And I'm going to say that's one, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> six and a half inches up from the bottom. 
So I'm going to draw a, a line right the way across. That way then I can't lose it, can I? And the second one is there. Blimey. That was good. I found it straight off. And I'm going to make it um, two and a quarter inches off the bottom. No, I'm not. I'm going to make it two and a half inches off the bottom. I've never done this before. <laughs> so I thought a good place to start was doing it in a live. Why ever not? Right, so that's that. Now I want to make, you know those um, sort of better quality clothes that you get, men's jackets particularly sometimes have it on, um, where you get around the button you get a sort of binding or sometimes on the pocket flap you get a binding. Well, that's my intention for this. And with the Edith Holden um, journal stroke mini album, I've got lots of remnants of craft. So it's my intention to use up, I mean, I've got loads of remnants, some of which will get used in the, in the thing, some which won't. So what does that measure then? That measures an inch. Well, that's handy dandy, isn't it? And how wide do I want this? I want it as wide, just a little bit wider than, than the thingies. So, about, about there, let's see. So that measures... Well, let's call it three and a half. Three and a half would make my life a bit easier, I guess. So, where's the small ruler? Fighting for space. Three and a half inches. Let's draw a line along there, and that's where we're going to cut. Then three and a half inches beyond that line. And I'm going to draw a line, and that's where I'm going to cut. And I don't think I'll get another three and a half. No. Um, but we can come back. Actually, I'll do it now because you know what I'm like. I've forgotten by then. Uh, let's just check that's an inch wide. Yeah. So three and a half inches. Let's square up the side. Three and a half inches. I'm, I'm not saying this out loud because I think you're dim. I'm saying it because I won't remember it unless I keep saying it to myself. So let's cut those at those measurements. Right, that can go back in the remnant pile. There we go. Quite like the reverse, actually. This craft card sort of one side is more shiny than the other. Right, there we go. So, let's just check. Yeah, I think that's going to be big enough. But we'll just do one first to start with, just in case it's not. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just knock the corners off this. Right, now I've got this little corner munchy thing. Um, what did I do? This little remnant here. I'm just going to try it on the smallest corner. Let's just check I've got it in properly. Yeah, I think I could get away with that. So I'm going to do that with all my pieces. Doesn't like ejecting things. So it gets uh, stuck up quite readily. You have to keep banging it. Okay, they look quite nice. Look like they were meant to be, don't they? <laughs> Which of course they were. making it up as I go along. <laughs> so yeah, this has got three sizes, this one. And it's really nice for all this matting and layering business that I'm now involved in. OK, 
Okay, so we've got four of those sort of little look like book plates to me. So the next thing to do then, I guess, is let's make sure I haven't got any pencil on any of these. Yeah, I've got pencil on there. Is my eraser out? No, it's been dropped. So I'm just going to get rid of any pencil that's on there. I think that's all. So we need to make marks on them. Um, but I need them. I need them to come a fair way across actually. So I am going to get my ruler. I'm going to measure half an inch up, which means that we'll be in the centre of the thing because we made it an inch. The light's really shining, reflecting today. Um, that doesn't look halfway to me. That's an inch. One, two, three, four. That's half an inch. I must have been on five eighths or something. And I'm just going to make a mark kind of level with where that, the top, where the corner is. So yeah, there and there. I can't believe that it's accurately half an inch. It just doesn't look like it. I'm having trouble seeing it because of the light. Can you just turn the light out? No, it's all right. I'll, I'll survive. Well, yeah, that must be it. So let's do the same with all of them. Let's hope there's something like right. They will be. Of course they will be. So just a bit there, and a bit there. If, if you've got a good eye, just do this, you'd be fine. Um, but you know, I don't. Right, so do I want to stick these on first? No, I think I'm going to do my slitty business first. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get my blade. Probably should have put a new blade in actually, but it'll do. It'll serve the purpose. And I'm just going on the sort of on one side of that mark that I've just made and I intend to go from the mark down to the other mark. Not any further but not any less. Craft is really funny stuff to cut isn't it? Should be it, yeah. So I'm just going to turn it around just because I find it easier, and I'm going to go on the other side of that that mark that I made now. So I'm going to end up with quite a thin slit, but it will be a slit. Same thing down to that mark, not beyond it. Right then, I'm going to get my uh, crocodile out. I don't think I've got anything that makes smaller holes than this, so um, this is why I'm using the crocodile, and I'm using the smallest setting on the crocodile, and I'm just going to go through where we made that mark, and once again where we made the mark on the other side, and that centre bit then should drop out. Now you go and live over there for a minute. So the idea is then, are you getting the plan? That that's going to go on there over that line that we drew and we're just going to draw a, a cut a slit out of that. That should go into that and we should all be happy campers. That's the plan. So I'll do two and then we'll see if we can make one, one page up. 
Oh dear. The reason I'm not sounding like I'm so confident is that I've just never done this before. So I just, I really don't know that it's going to work. It should. The theory sounds grand. It's a bit wonky, but no mind. That is a bit wonky, actually. So let's straighten that up a bit. So it's cutting a line between two dots. I mean, how difficult can it be? really but it seems it can be quite difficult so all right so i'll get my thingy out again two holes stop shaking Here we go. Well, the news on the uh, second uh, corona jab, vaccine, whatever, is that um, there is no news. Nothing happened. I got a sore arm, um, but kind of, you know, it's to be expected. Um, but apart from that, absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. So if you're feeling um, like you don't want to do it because you've heard some bad reports, etc., I would say don't worry. Have no fear, as far as I'm concerned, it was all very, very straightforward and I feel great. Well, I'm tired, but then again, I'm always tired. It just doesn't, looks like it needs to just be trimmed off. Right, okay. So it's going to go onto here and I'm going to... I think I'll be alright just cutting a slit. Do you think a slit will do, Mr. F? I think it probably will, you know. Yeah. Well, I do like the look of that craft on this card. I'm really pleased we decided to do that. So I'm gonna glue the I'm gonna glue this on. That's what I'm gonna do. What are you looking at me like that for? Nothing. I'm just checking. <laughs> just checking what? <laughs> Then I'm not doing something really ridiculous. It's possible. It's always possible. I think despite my careful measuring, these are not centralised. But then again, mm, I need my Timmy tie because I've got like 30 tonnes of glue on here. 30 tonnes is a bit too much for a little bit of card. Right, there we go. So... Let's see if I can see that line through there, which I can. And stick that on there. That's quite close to the centre, isn't it? I might budge it over a bit. Where's the line gone? Yeah, there. Right. Let's just... Hmm? No. It was moving. Oh, uh, no, it's just not stuck down yet. Right, so that's going to be that one. <sighs> pressure, pressure. Anything like a brew or anything? No, I'm alright, thank you, my love. I, I feel quite uh, like it's humid, that's how I feel. It is humid, it's quite airless. Yeah, airless. No, I'm all right, thank you. Just saying, it, it feels really sundry. It does. So I'm going to put this one about the same distance in from that edge, along that line that we drew. If I can see it, let's turn it around that way and I might be able to see it. Where are you? There you are. Lovely, that's bang on that line. Right, so let's press that down. Right, so we've got two of these. So far, we will have two on the other side, I'm thinking, because this is going to be the centre, apart from our very centre spread that we've already made. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my blade <laughs> and bravely go. Bravely go along there. So I'm just going to kind of hold that there and cut. Turn it round. I do seem to be making a bit more of a slit than I thought I was going to be making, but that's fine. Yeah, that is a slip, that's great. So I can get my scissors in there. Just trim that off at this oops, at this end and at this end. Let's see if see if I can get one of my cards in there. Of course you can. Why well, doubt it? Actually, that looks pretty darn cute in there, doesn't it? Pretty darn cute. Right. Um, this. Oh yeah, I need to slit this one. But you're all ready to slit your throats, are you? Come on, get on with it. You see what I mean about like sort of. There is a name for those pockets that have got this sort of stuff on them. If, if you've got shapes like me, I don't recommend you use scissors, uh, scalpels, but you know, you know. What can you do? Right, so that's that side finished. So I want the other side to kind of match up because you will see them both at the same time. So, uh, yeah, that will do. So let's uh, let's cut the slits out of here first. That's the thing to be doing first. So get your hole on the edge of your ruler, just to one side, and draw and score your first one. Turn it round, line your ruler up on the other side of the dot that you made. We're talking a millimetre here, well probably one and a half. No, it might just be one. Um, and then get your, well I'll do the other one and I'll get the crocodile out, cut through. I'm getting confident now, I'm getting cocky. Right, let's get this out. Make some holes at the end. So is everybody happy today? Everybody all right? Do you think? I think they're all right, yes. So that's one. I think I like this actually, but I think it would be nicer if you really took your time and you weren't shaking. I think you get better results. <laughs> That's what I've got to say about that. It's probably true about many a thing I would have thought. Yeah. <laughs> right, so I'm going to stick these on here. Um, do I want them that way? Doesn't look right, does it? But if I have them this way, these two are going to be together. I don't think I like that either. Oh, that's a poser, isn't it? I hadn't thought of that. Um, put that there and put that there. That looks nicer to me, that I way. think that's nicer too, yeah. Yes, I do. So let's see how far in this is from the edge. It's a quarter of an inch. Do I trust myself with a quarter of an inch? Do a heck. 
do I heck it's there <laughs> yeah that's great now I won't be able to find a pencil mark either so my collar's in a bit of a skittish mood today I don't know what's wrong with it it's uh, quite runny runnier than normal it must be warmer or something I don't know nearly empty again that it's that uh, Edith Holden book thing. She's Edith's eating all my glue. Mm. Explain and, it. And all my paper. My Edith Holden paper. That's just not right, is it? No. So get that sort of right over that line. Which I'm not actually sure where it is. There it is. Lovely. So that's one down on this side. And this one, let's just see where that one came to. It came to, that's no good, I can't make that out. Um, to one and three quarters. Fair enough. One and three quarters. Is there. A bit of glue. Sorry, I'm just having to take my time doing this because if I press on the bottle, it's going to there's going to be a deluge, a collal deluge. Right, so I want this there. I want to be able to see the line through my thingy. Where is my line? Where is my line? I've lost my line. You've got that, there we are. Have to be there somewhere. Lovely. So I'll just get my Timmy tail and wipe up any any bits of glue I don't want. There we go, right, so now I'm just gonna put some uh slits into the card. I'm really glad we used this card. I love it a lot gorgeous and it's kind of going to be centre stage isn't it because it's going to be uh, right in the middle so I'm just going down the well for me it's down the right hand side for you it's probably the other side first unless you're left handed of course I know a lot of us are a lot of creatives are left handed So that didn't make much of a dent in my uh, remnant pile from Edith, but I used some bit. And I'm glad we did, I really am liking this craft on here. Oops. Oops. Not quite know where that one went. Let's have a look. This one as well. Right, there we go. So we've got slits made. I think they look quite nice actually. You could, if you wanted to, I suppose, put uh, eyelets in each of these. There might be a bit of overkill. But you could, it's just a suggestion. A serving suggestion. Right, so I've got two that have got green and two that have got brown. So this is just a trial, obviously. So brown and a green and a green. And a brown. Right. 
So when they're like that, how far down do they come? Because obviously we've got to glue this page onto this page because you don't want to see that. <laughs> They've all fallen out. That in your journal. Oh, that's another thing. I need to back these. You can't journal on that, can you? So I need to um, just stick these on some paper. And then there'll be nice and cream on the background, which we can journal on. Sounds to me like the kettle's just boiled. That's very nice. Hmm? Well, I put the kettle on, but it didn't make the two, even though you said no, because it just didn't feel right making one. Well, I would have had four more if you'd come in with one. I know. Uh, Pink Robin says hello. Hiya! Thanks very much. I'm used to seeing you on uh, YouTube. Oh yeah, we're on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me. It's not easy. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's not easy being me. <laughs> So these will make these proper journaling little tags then that we can use, which is always nice. They would be pointless if this was what the back looked like. It would be absolutely without a point. So I've just got to check that the once this is on that they're actually going to fit in the slots. Can't see any reason why they wouldn't, but you never know. So with the collar, when you put it on, if you just go around it with your finger with the Timmy towel, if it's a larger piece, just go around the edge, but push in towards the center. That way then the glue sort of stays inside. Thanks, my love. You're welcome, my sweet. All the way around, pushing inwards. The collar does take a little while to tack up. Um, which of course works in our favour and against us. If you're in a hurry, uh, then it's no good because it won't be dry instantly. But if you think it's something that you want to have a bit of a fiddle factor with, then it's the perfect thing because you can move it for a you know, while afterwards. But when you've got something glued up, have a look at it. Like there, for example, I've just got too much glue and up here. So just wipe it off. It'll save it squelching out. So that's there. So just go around the outside, pushing inwards as you go. Like that. By the time we've come to the end of sticking these on, these first ones should be dry anyway, so yeah, that will be okay. Someone was asking me the other day, might even have been yesterday actually, uh, if they could get Kalal in the States. Now, I, I'm not in a position to help you with that one because I live in the UK, but could anybody um, help? Can you, you know, does anybody use Kalal in the States? Uh, is it expensive? Is it easy to get? I don't, these are things that obviously I just don't know. I mean, we... I favour, well, actually I favour it now because I like the way it works. But originally I went on to Kalal because it was so much cheaper than Fabri-Tac. I mean, I don't know what the comparison is. Do you remember what the comparison is, Miss Trev? The, uh, that's in the, the UK, that's about eight or nine pounds, isn't it? Oh my goodness. And this one? Uh, that one is two, well, in that sort of size. Right. It's about 2 39 uh, so there's a huge so price it's difference. About a quarter of the price. Yeah, I'll just bring this to your attention actually while I've got it in my hand. It's this Collal Bookbinders glue. And it's fabulous stuff. It's It really bonds the second that you, you put two things together. And it does not want to let go. So for anything you've got that you might think is a bit tricky or that's going to get a lot of use, I really recommend this bookbinders glue, particularly if you're in the UK because it's two pounds odd. 
uh, so it's not expensive and you don't need much of it. I hardly ever use it just for things that I think might be a little bit tricky. Um, I don't know, I can't think of an example at the moment, but where's my black handled scissors? Here. Makes Aileen's super tacky feel like water. Yeah, it's it really grips. So let's just cut these out. I can't even go straight when I've got something to follow. It's really poor. When Noella says good night, she's going to bed. Oh, good night, Noella. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Sleep tight. I dread to think what time it is there. It's one forty-five. Oh my goodness, she should have been in her bed a long time ago. You know, always catch me up on on catchback if you want to, or whatever it's called. Well, the sad news is that Fraser's nearly at an end again. I think that's three times we've watched it through, so we're going to have a bit of a break from him. <gasps> I will miss him. We always have him on when we have food, when we're eating. <laughs> Tea time, Fraser time. So let's just check that they still will go through there. Yeah, no problem, that's good. Cut these other ones out. I've reached a stage now where I can't remember which is the Stamperia set and which is the Fabrico Decoru, I think that's how you say it, I've no idea, um, papers anymore, I just can't remember, I've got them mixed up, but I can say they're both lovely, but I'm pretty sure that you don't need two sets, so I'm going to have enough left here to make at least, at the very least one more journal, but very possibly two. But I'll put them all away in a plastic bag, which will free my project box up for the next project. I can't get Edith in a, a project box, it's just too much of her. <laughs> but big I, lass. She's a big lass. But I do have um, another project, a kind of album journal stroke project in my mind that's just got when I've trimmed it originally, I haven't trimmed it really accurately. There we go. Right, okay. So we've got four tags, four slits. Hooray, we're doing all right. Right, so where's the, um, where's my dobber? Mm -hmm. That could be anywhere. This dobber. That dobber. Thanks, Mr. F. What would I do without you? I honestly don't know. So, uh, actually, this is tea dye that I've got on here, but it, it'll, it'll be fine. Tea dye as opposed to, I think I might have used vintage photo. For the rest. Quite like this tea dye, actually. I haven't used it for a while. Um, then I got it out again for old Edith, and I thought, yeah, I like that. Wasn't sure with Edith whether I was going to use bundled sage, which is my kind of go-to with Edith, if I'm honest. That's really pants up there. Um, or a vintage photo, I thought. And then I was looking through the drawer and I came across tea dye and I thought, hmm, yeah, that might be all right. Not too dark, but enough to say I was here. I might actually stamp on these. I mean, why not? Yeah, Jenny wants to know if tea dye is lighter than vintage photo. Yeah, it is. It's the lightest of the browns, Jenny. Um, mm, I haven't got another dobber. I can't show you directly, but it's kind of more orangey, more ambery. To show, yeah, that'll do. Let's have a look. Let's see, 
That's vintage water, isn't it? Thank you. Right, let's get a bit of paper. So this is tea dye. I'll put quite a bit on so you can see the, the colour there. And this is vintage photo. see the more sort of orangey one is the tea dye and the more brownie brown is the vintage photo okay so vintage photo is kind of my go-to I, I don't I don't know I think once you get into walnut stain and stuff and I have used walnut stain but you're getting more into grunge and with some of the Edith pages they're quite brown around the outside to start with and I don't want to go grunging them up really. They'd just be too grungy for my personal taste. So, yeah, let's stamp on these, shall we? Flo's joined us. Hi, Flo. Take yourself to the naughty step with the cake that you've brought. What's the cake today, Flo? Shall I come and join you on the naughty step? Kiung says she uses a lot of walnut. Walnut, yeah. In, walnut. A, in her nature journal. Cause yeah, it's dark. I can see why you would be drawn to it. It looks like, more like bark. Yeah? Well, the pictures that you've put up. Oh, blimey. They are so lovely. So lovely. Right, so let's see how many of these I can do at once. So I'll put that there. Do you have to have the the magnets on? Maybe. Maybe I need to do the, just two at a time. <laughs> Maybe I was getting a bit ahead of myself. Oh, I haven't even put a stamp on that one. Other magnets though, don't we? I do, but but these are here. Right, and put those on. These are the little set, the mini bouquet set of stamps. So I'm just going to use the tea dye because that's what I was using. See what happens. I don't know, hold on a sec. Oh, looky look, that's nice, isn't it? Shall I measure this? I haven't got anything accurate to measure it with. I've got a micrometer. But oh, well, there you go. Let's just put it next to it for now. So they're pretty, aren't they? When you turn them over and that's on the other side. That's really nice. So I shall do the other two. It's got some ink on anyway from somewhere. Mr. F's done away with my um, magnet, but in the meantime, we'll select some stamps that we may wish to use. So, hiding around there. Let's have a look. Yeah, I quite like that one, that long straight one. I, I like it. And this little one here. I can't remember, was that the one I used on the last one? I can't remember. No. Okay, so that's that. Yay. This the one's about 2.5 millimetres and that one's 2.7. So if you used four of those ones, you'd probably... Ah, oh, right. See, you don't know, do you? A micrometer that you have to get out to measure really magnets. Caliper. Oh, a vernier caliper, sorry. Sorry. Right, let's see what happens with these ones. Well, you know what you say, near enough is not good enough. I wasn't thinking about getting sort of millimetre perfect, but this one's a bit faded. I quite, I quite like it, actually, but 
other people might think it's just a misfire so I'll do it again because I've got my stamping platform and I can yeah look at that they're really nice aren't they worth the while worth the time to do them I would say let's just wipe those off it's just distressing because so it should come off I really like those mini wildflower set, mini bouquet or whatever they're called. I like it a lot. Right, okay. So what was I doing anyway? I can't even I mean, remember now. Yeah, I need to see how far this goes down to see where to put the glue. So I want that to be about there. So when I put the glue on, I want the glue, well I can put the glue just above that pocket, but then again I don't want this sliding all the way through, so uh, I don't want the risk being that you lose this. See if I don't put some glue there, this is what I'm doing, then you put that in and it could go all the way down to there, then you'd have lost that forever, unless you want to rip the page apart, uh, which I don't, so I'm going to put some glue here that's going to be glue it's going to be glued there and then this one should be okay there with just some glue around the bottom and then glue up the side I don't normally do this I don't know why I'm doing it I'm just enjoying it glue down there and all that is glue all well, that can be glue as well actually Yep, yeah, and that can. <laughs> That's quite enjoyable. Uh, so for the other side, oh, isn't that so pretty and we're covering it up, but what can you do? So that's going to go there. So I can glue this bit here. Oh no, that's a slit. Glue this bit. Glue this bit. And glue from here down to there right I think we're okay before I do any of this gluing I'm just gonna just check once again that this page is the right size I mean if it's too big that's fair enough we can trim it yeah I think that's okay this is this is looking you know dare I say it it's looking quite nice so I'm going to do half a page first, I think, is the way forward. So glue along the top edge. Um, glue down here. Down the edge. Glue along the top edge of that. Glue down this side where this collar is on one today. It's not usually like this at all. Right, okay, that's fine. Just gonna have to just smooth some of that off. It's a bit, it's gone a bit bonkers. Right, so this is this side. Let's get the centre in the centre. Edge to the edge. And press it down. fondle. I'm not going to try my tags in it yet. For one thing I'll just be too disappointed if they don't work. <laughs> and secondly I'm just going to give that collar just a second to tack up and dry and in the meantime we'll do this side. So all around the edge. All down that crease there. Mm. 
anywhere where I've drawn hatching, oh, loose hatching. There we go, I think that's it. So let's just fold that over onto there. Looks like it might be slightly wider. That's kind of to be expected because you lose some in the crease. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so I'm just going to get my bone folder out and I'm just going to go up that crease with it just to make sure that it's... Oh, it's really excess glue today. And up this one. That one's not so bad because it's started to dry. So then I just want to go all the way around it. I'm going to use a board. You feel the one that's drier. It's not moving around so much. This one, however, probably will. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we need to uh, trim off. Not very much at all. Right, Mr. Yeah. Good. So I'm just trimming it straight with that piece of cream A4. Coffee's nice. Is it? I've not any of it yet. Same down the other side if you've got any. You will invariably, um, even though you've cut it to the same. It's just the crease takes up more. Same reason as we trim the pages when we put the signature together first off. Okay. Right, well I'm going to ink around there. Just going to dare to do that. Dare to do it. Lovely. So, yeah, I'm going to tea dye around that I'm just gonna have a mouthful of coffee why ever not yeah the coffee is nice today you're on coffee making form today mm. maybe it's the atmospheric conditions <laughs> are conducive to a fine brew <laughs> maybe that is what it is yeah I imagine that's what it is. Mm. Mm. Can you believe it's May already? No, I'm struggling to believe it's May already, to be honest with you. I couldn't believe it when you said it was the 1st of May. I was checking that your pants weren't on fire. This week we're, we have a an aim and the aim is, we've got a sideboard, a very small little sort of sideboard. And I know you don't call them that in America, but I can't remember what you call them. Like um, a, 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 no, like a, a chest that's got drawers and cupboards in. I don't know what you call it. We call it a sideboard. And it really doesn't serve that much purpose where, for, for what we need. I need space for my crafting stuff and it doesn't need to be there because it's full of Mr. F stuff. So the idea this week on top of it is just lace and um, decoupage stuff, other assorted rubbish. Well, it's not rubbish, but the, the ambition this week is to get that moved, gone, in fact, to the tip. And uh, to move me to there, uh, so I'll be looking out the window at everyone. Yeah. Furthermore, they'll be looking in the window at me. Um, 
and yeah so this desk is going to move to there then this table that I have on my left that is always just a, a dumping ground uh, is going to move to here so we can still do the lives from here because as I was explaining the other day if my desk's there and I have a head-on camera looking at me here then it would need to be out the window <laughs> which isn't going to work really particularly well no I refuse to sit outside Particularly in the winter. <laughs> I think be a, yeah, there'd be a lot to ask of you in the winter. So, yeah, that's the ambition for this week. Because this wall here, which has a big window on, still hasn't been painted during the great decorating of 2021. Because there's too much crap, basically, on it. So, that's the plan. Move everything away then um get get it painted get the curtains up because we're still using a duvet cover <laughs> oh that's bad isn't it that's really bad um and get me over there so hopefully by next saturday i will be installed over there which would be great right all of that is putting off the fact that i need to try and see if these tags actually go in here Come on, you know you want to go in. Yes, it does. And a brown one, yeah. And a green one down here. And a brown one up here. Come on. So what do you think? Um, I need glue rubber. I've just got there's a bit of glue there that's just annoying me. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, overall that's it. I think we need to put some little bits of lace or something uh, on top of the tags. But I actually actually like that let's have a look bye Sarah what's Mr F going to do with all his stuff that's in the sideboard Kerry <laughs> <laughs> I have six small drawers by the side of my desk and she has the gall to ask me what I've got in them <laughs> I did the other day. So. Well, what's in there anyway? I've got six drawers. I, I can count approximately about 150 drawers currently in occupation by Miss P. Yeah. And I have my little sanctuary. And then when it comes to something, I'll say, well, have you got something that does whatever? And I expect you to have it. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Um, I don't know what he's going to do with it, Kerry. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> what more? She doesn't care. I was going to say, I'm quite tempted to say I don't care. As long as it's gone. Just to be gone. That's all I want, really. Um, and me installed over there. And I'm thinking that if I'm installed over there, I can have some device here with my either my iPad or my phone on it that I can just record little sort of snippety bits. Because to get set up, get all the kit and everything set up. I mean, Mr. I've never complains, but it always seems a bit of a chore to me. So I think if I had something just kind of here that I could record like the other girls do on YouTube, then I'd probably make more smaller, shorter videos. Um, so yeah, that was that's the answer to that. I'll get you one of them little helmet cams. <laughs> You can just put your thinking cap helmet on with your GoPro. No, I need one of those on police side. body cams. Police body cams on the underside of the toppage here. If you put and it on I, the underside, it would be forever in the shade. We'll do give over. Yeah, Shaz, the skip was mentioned. It definitely was. The sideboard itself is going to the skip. I just don't know um, quite what's happening to the contents. I made him go through it the other day and name out everything that was in it. And I must say, everything sounded like it might have a use. Um, and it can't possibly go in the back bedroom. It absolutely can't because it's going to come through. One day I'll be doing a live and the back bedroom will arrive on my head. Um, so, yeah. Under the bed is always a good spot. Yeah, Carrie. 
We've got room under the bed, you know. That's bizarre, but we have. Those drawers under the bed are very underutilised. They're full of your stuff. Yeah, but my stuff could go in the wardrobe, which is also underutilised. Actually, Kerry, you might hit on a good idea there. I can see me soon. I'm going to have to wear a rucksack around the house just to keep my worldly possessions in one place. <laughs> Possibly. Michelle, I'll go back and try the channel name. I had just changed the name section. I've been Fenxy for six years now, still working on changing all my hobbies names. She asked, she changed her name on YouTube, but it's still coming up as Michelle Otinga. All right, okay. But it's Michelle Fensky. Ah, oh, right. She bought the kit. Ah, oh, right. And she bought the last junk, the nature kit. Ah, oh, right, okay. But I think what you have to do is change the channel name. <laughs> I hope you get it sorted out, Michelle. It's so annoying when you can't get things like that sorted. I just generally sit there staring into space and Mr. F will say, what's the matter? I'll say, I can't do whatever it is. Oh, I'll do it. <laughs> so, um, Jen, who needs food in the cabinets? Mr. F can put his stuff there. Well, actually, we've got so little food in our cabinets that there's room for his stuff there. Uh, or the warehouse spare room. No, Jen, yeah. It's too much weight in there. Um, poor guy. Yeah, poor guy. Yeah, I mean, he has to put up with me. I mean, can you can you really, really imagine it? Because what you see when I'm live is me. That's that's just the way I am all the time, every day. And I think to put up with that, <laughs> I don't know. I think he does really well. Right, let's think. Let's find something to put on the top of here. Some lace or something. Something, something. It's not putting up with things when you love somebody. Oh, how sweet. Thank you. That's nice. That's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like that. I dyed this myself. Can't even remember when or how or what, what I used even. Um, and it's come out kind of patchy. I quite like it really. I could staple it in place. I've got a bit of a thing about staples. I'm not mad keen on them. But it would be the perfect place to staple something. I might staple it. Have you got a stapler, Mr. F? <laughs> in your drawers? <laughs> of course they do. Uh, they're, they're white staples there, right? Yeah, thank you. So I'm going to cut this raggedy end off. Well, try and make it less raggedy. And I don't want I don't want them very big. About that sort of size I would say. So I'm gonna cut another three that are about that size. Yeah, so that's the plan for the week ahead. Be good if it got done and we actually had curtains we could draw. We've got the curtains, We've got the curtain rail, just you can't kind of get to the window. <laughs> right, so let's just staple these on then. Like so. Ooh, where am I going to hold that? I'm not going to staple my finger. Ooh, that's a good question. Do you like me to do it? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to come here? No. 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 No, I have the face that's behind the camera. Oh. Thank I, you. I don't have my showbiz face on today. Okay. Right. So just in the middle. Just in the middle, yeah. At the top. At the top, yeah. So, so, where are we? Um, so that, this page then is going to go... Why no, that... We could glue them. Shall I glue them? I'd, I'd prefer to glue them, actually. Let's glue them. A little bit of double-sided. Yeah, a little bit of double-sided. 
so yeah that's going to go there and that's going to go there it's all looking really nice yeah pass it over i'll put some double sided on yeah i don't know why i thought of um of gluing that Stapling. it's not a stapler it's not my sort of thing it's at all staples, it? no that's what i thought that's why my staplers never been out my drawer for right back to plan while. whatever would just be on plan Q by now. Plan Q, yeah, could well be plan Q. We've long since passed A and B. So that's kind of the middle there, I think. Yeah, I don't like staples. I don't like the look of them, I don't know why. I know a lot of people use them and they look fine, but I'm not keen. I think it might be a bit long. I think double sided will be a smarter fix. as well. I'd rather it was shorter than longer because I don't want it sticking out. Right, let's just burnish those quickly. Pick them off. Yeah, this is far better altogether. I don't know if you can hear the dog snoring, but snoring his head off. Um, I'll just put them on all the fronts first, then I'll do the backs. Oh, what am I doing? Um, then, I don't know, we'll have a look what it looks like. That's not in the middle, is it? That's nowhere near the middle. But that's where the tape is. What's going to the worst? We can always run a bit of sewing across the top. Yeah, exactly. But it'll be fine. It'll be alright. Okay, so on the back then. It'd have been a fine opportunity for your lawn yard punch. Yeah, it would actually. Don't even ask what it is, I can't be bothered to find it. It's too big. Has everyone seen Jan's wonderful work? When I say this about people's work that I've seen, and I don't mention everybody. It's not because I don't think all of your work is fabulous. It's just whatever comes to my mind at the time. And at the moment, I'm just remembering seeing Jan's work, Jan Rosier. My goodness, that woman is so precise. Her stuff is gorgeous. And the papers she uses are gorgeous too. Um, I messaged her last night and asked her where she got her papers from. And I really, I really wish I hadn't. So some of these are a bit cockeyed. Just gonna have to live with it. This is why I say I haven't got a straight eye in my head. If I don't measure things, I mean this one's right nearly off the side. Um, if I don't measure things, I've had it, absolutely had it, I'm rubbish. There we go. Right, let's, let's fetch the journal over and put our tags in. See what it looks like. Oh, 
Oh, it's looking nice like that. And Linda and Jen, you love the colour of the layers. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I wish I could tell you what I used to dye it with. Honestly, I'm not being funny or trying to keep things to myself. I just can't remember. It's ages ago. You know what we need to do, Mr. F? We need to have a Procyon dying day. Yes. Oh, I think I've come up too high with my glue there. Can't get that any further in. Never mind. So there we go. That's it. That is the page that we have created today. I hope you like it. <laughs> I quite like it. Do you like it? Yes, I could make a suggestion. Yeah, go on. Am I allowed to make a suggestion? Never stopped you before. <laughs> <laughs> You're so witty. Um, on the, these bits underneath, uh -huh. them, them like Tim Holtz number stamp things you've got. Oh, yeah. It would look quite nice if they were. Oh, yeah. They sort of it, numbered it, time in with the pages. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Just thinking. Like. Yeah. Well, I'm always keen to use a bit of Tim Holtz stamping. Yeah, I'd just break that up a bit, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, let's like just, type let's just take that out of there. Put the glossine bag back. Uh, yeah, that is a really good idea. Uh, Jen says, I hear you, but no, coming on. <laughs> well, it's I hear you, but yes. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, red letter day. Red stamp day, red rubber stamp day. So let's just put that along there. Can you leave your block? Are you alright? I'm alright. Yeah, what a genius idea. I must have had a genius thought. Oh no, it was you. <laughs> yeah. In future retellings of this story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mr. F's been. Um, embossing on heat resistant acetate this morning it's fabulous these are lovely what a good idea it's a good idea i had the identification check is that that's too long what's the oh my goodness that's even longer orders attended to day or night doesn't even fit it's so long what's this one that one will fit these stamps are from the Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous Field Notes um, set. They're my very favourite stamps ever, ever, ever. I love them. Yeah. I just need another smallish one. What's that say? Yeah, it's just numbers as well. It uh, sure says, what does the acetate look like embossed? Ooh. I no idea. Ooh. Is it on there? No. I don't know. There we go. Well, that was a genius idea. Thanks very much, my love. You're welcome. That's it for the month. That's the month of May ticked off. <laughs> genius idea for the month. Oh, yeah. Here they are, Shaz. I'll just get a bit of paper out to show you. Um... That's the, obviously, you can see the colour of it. Where am I? There. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's really, really shiny as well. So that was that one with the um, mini bouquet stamps. And then this one where he was just trying it first off. And he just did the head of one of the stamps, just various parts, just to see if he could. And just use that turquoise one. But it does work perfectly. Perfectly come back that way. Yep. So I think you can tick that down as a success. It's really they're really lovely. That's um the acetate that he used was for a laser printer. You need to get it for a laser printer because if you just get it for a inkjet, it'll just melt when you go to heat the embossing powder up. Where was I? Here. 
so there we go and this is going to go in the center sewn in like that why do you think it's that old it was actually for overhead projectors photocopier oh photocopiers photocopiers but because yeah. it goes through a photocopier photocopiers yeah. get very hot yeah so it's in heat resistant but it's for the old overhead projectors oh uh, yeah back in the day yeah i think did you get five boxes of this or something yeah, yeah yeah about a pound a box yeah from a charity shop or somewhere and there's a hundred sheets of a4 in each <laughs> for a pound a box so yeah he's given that a try work to charm so there we go ladies and gents guys and girls is nancy on today nancy and will i haven't seen them but i'll say hello to will anyway um because i know he listens in uh, and hello fancy if you watch us on, on playback or whatever so that's it we're kind of done guys and if Jean tunes in later oh if Jean tunes we're thinking in. of you and yeah. Homer yeah we absolutely are you are never far from my thoughts Jean never uh, so that's that I think it turned out all right really <laughs> what do you think uh, so I'll see you next Saturday when I might be installed on my new table. Then again, I might not be. It depends if Mr. F can find a home for all that stuff. Keung says she has that kind of acetate. So, yes, Keung, it was just a embossing pad on a rubber stamp. I used the stamping platform, put the embossing ink, ink on the pad and stamped it down. Yeah. And then sprinkled it on. Yeah. Yeah, you used Nancy's anti-static thing first, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. The little anti-static pouch that Nancy sent me. So that's it, guys. I can do no more. I'm really rather pleased with that page, actually. I might photograph that and put it on Instagram. <laughs> Look at me getting ahead of myself with all mod cons. Okay, I'll see you next Saturday. Please, please look after yourselves. Be happy. And... Behave yourselves. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.